Welcome to week six of our NFL picks. Just to give you a little update, week five kind of got screwed up with the file, but I was able to recover it today. So at some point, the full version of that video will be out. Last week, I was the winner. Wait a minute. What well, this graphic's weird. Why is there a triple zero? Oh. Welcome back, Christian Hohenberger. Oh, yeah. Back. The kid is back. The weekly picks. Don't need for applause. I know. I'm humble too. I said no deep. So I remember win percentage is what wins the whole season. But for last week, I won at seven and seven. Ethan and John tied at five and nine. <laughs> it's time to do maybe a little bit better. Let's go. By weeks this week, we have Kansas City, the Rams, Miami, and Minnesota. Both of the 5-0 teams are on a break, which I think is kind of interesting. But anyway, back to the real part of the video. It's scripted. Okay, so we start out with Thursday night, the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Seattle Seahawks. This is a big, huge game early in the season. The 49ers choked the game away against the Cardinals this past week. They're two and three, kind of struggling a little more than a lot of people would have thought. Meanwhile, Seattle lost to the Giants, which might be even worse. So yeah, that's definitely worse. I think I beat the Giants a couple weeks ago. 49ers really desperately need this win, and so does Seattle. I don't really got much to say. I just think the 49ers are gonna end up winning this game. Yeah. It it's just a San Fran win. First of all, I think Seattle has got this in the bag. I know I've been away from the football scene for three months. I think I'm confident with my choice, and Seattle is going to smoke the nope. Niners. Who is uh, Seattle's quarterback? Uh, <laughs> Deshaun Watson? <laughs> <laughs> no! It's the Seattle Seahawks, right? Yes. And Seattle's gonna win. <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> Okay, it's the second week in a row we've got a London game. This time their mascot, the Jacksonville Jaguars, are in town taking on the Chicago Bears. The Bears are pretty good right now. They're 3-2. They beat the crap out of Andy Dalton and the Panthers. Jacksonville got their first win against the uh, Colts this week, so uh, we feeling good about that, guys? No. Anyway. <laughs> Because I just need to feel like Jacksonville isn't complete garbage and that the Colts are not going to be their only win, I'm going to pick Jacksonville this week for a second straight win. Go Bears. We Bear Bears. We will be there. We yeah, I feel the Bears. It's over. Speaking of over, the Cardinals one game win streak as they take on the Green Bay Packers who beat the Rams this week and the Cardinals beat the 49ers. So honestly, it's a pretty big game. Cardinals can be 500 if they win this one. Packers can be four and two if they win this one. So I'm gonna pick the Packers. I'm constantly hearing Blake say, go Pack go. And I'm taking a stand. While I sit, I'm saying go Pack no. Cardinals all the way, Arizona's gonna win. You're going on my enemy list. Oh, not again. <laughs> I really love the enthusiasm from Christian, but I already voted for Green Bay, so it's too late to change. Okay, you were even wearing the shirt. He said you're the only one on my side. A much desperately needed game for both the Colts and the Tennessee Titans. Titans got their bye week last week, but they are just one and three. They got their first win a couple weeks ago against the Dolphins. Colts, after beating the undefeated Steelers, lost to the Jags. That's awesome. But I will pick them because I just desperately want them to win. Go Indianapolis. They need it. They deserve it. Why would anybody even watch this game? And he does not know the will of his generational run from weeks one through four. Christian doesn't even know who that is. Okay, the Titans we'll go for Tennessee. I'll go for the Colts. I just want them to have one good game. They did against the Steelers, and now it's gone. And it's gone. They're Speaking scared. of over, the New England Patriots season has been over since the start, except for their first week win when they beat the Bengals, but they are horrible. They lost to the Dolphins without Tua, which is uh, not great for them. Meanwhile, Houston beat Buffalo. They're 4-1. However, there is a little bit of a difference in this game. The Patriots announced that Drake May will be getting the start this week. And because I desperately, desperately just want to see Houston lose, I will be picking the Patriots because I'm an idiot and I'm just going with my gut for some reason. But I also really just don't think New England wins that. So I'm going to have to go with Houston. I already marked New England. Why? Why? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. But I don't know a lot about soccer, gay. Okay? Oh, are these the Dodgers? Mm -hmm. So on 
one hand, I hate Houston. On the other hand, I also know New England's probably going to lose. Oh no, no, not the All the liable. Which one's which? Uh, that would be New England. This guy just made it up. He made, he made it up made on the spot. Up. He wanted to choose New England the whole time. He just didn't want to get made fun of. Watch me not get that right. Please. It's yeah, like when you guys prayed that the Panthers would beat the Bears last week and then they lost by 30. I would never <laughs> vote for the Panthers, guys. I think you voted for them actually more than anybody else. You know what other because team I, think I voted for more than everyone else? The Broncos. The Broncos! Oh, man, you were right on that! <laughs> yeah! The Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the New Orleans Saints. The Bucks had to leave early this week because they got the hurricane coming in. So hope they're doing good. They got that devastating loss to the Falcons last week where Kirk threw 500 yards on their heads. Other than that, I still think they're a pretty good team. Meanwhile, New Orleans lost their third straight game after that 2-0 start where we were all hyping them up as the Super Bowl favorites. And now Derek Carr's hurt, and now it'll be Spencer Rattler getting the start this week. So uh, Tampa Bay? So Tampa Bay is the pick. Oh, well, guys, Tampa Bay's gone through a lot of hardship recently yeah. with the hurricane. They, they need a win. They really so need I'm a win. So I'm choosing New Orleans. <laughs> Okay. We're going with the same. Cleveland Browns taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. The Cleveland Browns are awful. They suck. Deshaun Watson. Buddy is getting what he deserves. Well, that's the team. Deshaun yeah. Watson of the Seattle Is he going to pick them? We're going are you Cleveland? Come on, man. I'm going with Philadelphia. I'm going with Philadelphia, too. I'm going with Cleveland and Brown. Why are you both pick Cleveland? Washington at Baltimore. Baltimore's won three in a row. They devastatingly beat the Bengals this week after the Bengals choked the game away at the end. The Bengals are in purgatory. Dude, they're so bad. Joe Burrow is having the best quarterback season in the NFL right now. And they're and, one and four. Yeah, yeah, it's so tragic being the best quarterback on the worst team. Exactly. <laughs> I feel defense. bad for all Bengals fans, a.k.a. Mr. Foxworthy. Um, yeah, Washington at Baltimore. We're, I'm kind of divided on this one. I think I'm just going to go Baltimore because they're at home. I hope Washington wins. That'd be more fun. Yeah, I, I have to take Washington because they're my team. But I also feel like Baltimore is, like, good. And, like, they're playing good right now. But they definitely have moments where they're just awful. They so. lost to the Raiders a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So. I just hope Washington can keep up what they're doing and win that. I'll go for Washington. And yeah, same here. I'm going for Washington because, once again... F*** you, Baltimore! I forgot the Chargers were a team because they had their bye week last week. Ethan Hibbs has been right up the Denver Broncos for three straight weeks. They won three in a row. They have one of the best defenses in the NFL. Patrick Sertan Jr. is really good. Denver is sneakily good for some reason. And Bo Nix is playing better, which is probably the most important part for them. Despite all of this, I'm going with the Chargers because I don't know. I already picked Denver. They're just going to win. It's just going to happen. I don't think so. Not so fast! Broncos country, they're not going to ride. They also you don't know ride what I anymore. say about that? Broncos country, let's ride. Pittsburgh versus Las Vegas. The Steelers have lost two in a row. They lost to the Colts. They lost to the Cowboys on Sunday night, and they choked that game. They could have won that one right at the end there. While they might have had a bad loss, they're not Las Vegas, who is awful, and so I'm picking Pittsburgh. We could have some QB changes, by the way, this week. Aiden O'Connell will start for the Raiders this week. Um, they benched Gardner Minshew. Russell Wilson's finally healthy and practicing. I don't know if he'll start. I doubt it, but he's an option if they want to go to him. I'm going to Las Vegas. I think Pittsburgh's got a spark. They didn't do as bad as they probably looked last week. I think the Steelers are going to steal this from Las Vegas. Okay, shoot me. Calm down! You calm the f down! All right, America's Game of the Week, the Detroit Lions taking on the Dallas Cowboys. The Lions had a bye week, but they're 3-1, and one, and they won two in a row. Dallas got that big win in Pittsburgh that they desperately needed. They're 3-2. and two. They're hanging around right now. I don't think they're that great, though, and I definitely think not only are the Lions better, but they're going to remember that game where they got cheated last year against the Cowboys, and they're going to want revenge, so I'm going to pick Detroit. I'm also going to Detroit. They're just a fan favorite team, so I got to pick them. Welcome to Applebee's. Can I interest you in America's favorite boneless wings for just 50 cents each? I also like Detroit in this game. Correct choice, friends. Four for four on Detroit. Now Dallas is going to win. How about them, Cowboys? <laughs> the Atlanta Falcons against the Carolina Panthers. The Falcons got that huge win last Thursday against the Bucks. Kirk Cousins threw for over 500 yards and four touchdowns. It was pretty crazy. 
Panthers lost their second straight game. They got blown out by the Bears. They're one and four right now. Really, you can only argue New England is worse than them right now. And because the NFL is all weird, I feel like the Panthers might just win for some reason, but I'm gonna go with Atlanta. I made a bet. If Carolina wins this week, I will pick Carolina every week for the rest of the year. I'm gonna go with Atlanta and pray. Oh God, your win percentage is dug for. <laughs> <laughs> go Atlanta. I'm also going for Atlanta just because choosing the Panthers is kind of embarrassing. You know what? I'm changing my answer. You know, just I just have this feeling. I just have this feeling that they're going to make it this time. Carolina. Okay, Sunday Night Football. By the way, NBC did not want this game. They actually tried to flex into the Washington-Baltimore game. They're trying to flex into your team in prime time. Can you believe that? Dude, my team is just better. And they're going against an actual good team when we're playing well. Of course everyone wants to see it. Cincinnati at the New York Giants. Cincinnati lost a devastating game to the Ravens. If they won that game, I would have been actually very hyped up for them. But now it's like and too big of a hole to climb out of, in my opinion. But they are playing the Giants this week. They did beat the Seahawks, and they're two and three, and they got a better record. But the Giants are not that good. <laughs> I'll take their bad. I'm gonna go with Cincinnati for this one. I don't like voting for Cincinnati after the way they've played, but like, I, I feel like I have to because the Giants are just that bad. Voting for the Giants leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It feels sick, like I just, all right, I'm going to vote for Cincinnati. <laughs> Great yeah. joke. The Did Giants that, are That wasn't crying. really a joke. I just didn't have an analogy there. Giants fans are sobbing right now. <laughs> John, what you got? Can I kick? Okay. Buffalo at the New York Jets on Monday. So we got a little bit to talk about here. Um, first with the Bills really did a bad job against the Texans. Josh Allen went nine of 30. He probably got concussed in the game and they kept him in anyway. Rowing the ball at the end of the game instead of running it, which ended up giving Houston enough time to get in the field goal range and win the game. So they blew that one. The New York Jets are a collapsing organization right now. Yes, sir. They just fired head coach Robert Sala after three and a half almost years. And Aaron Rodgers didn't play into that at all. Aaron Rodgers had nothing to do with the situation. <laughs> Even though Robert Saul was apparently thinking of firing Nathaniel Hackett that exact morning. He had nothing to do. Nothing to do with it at all. With this decision. <laughs> so they have Jeff Ulbrich now. He's their defensive coordinator. He's going to be the new interim head coach. The Jets are going to get something of a spark here. Because look, Robert Sala wasn't a great head coach. Get somebody else and maybe they do a little bit better. Who knows? Now, I don't think their offense is going to be a ton better. But I will go with the Jets here. I also enjoy the humor of New York winning this. I hate the Buffalo Bills for no real reason. So, Jets. Oh, he's flipping a real coin? That entails second option. The Jets. Thanks for watching. We're glad this guy is here now so he can bless us with his picks, I guess. I'm not glad. I'm actually so sad. Mad even. All right, and Christian, it is tradition that we do this. How'd it get on top of my head without like, even like. I don't know. be Ethan, bro. He's tweaking oh, right now, legitimately. Thanks for watching. Woo!